Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lara, I'm a Master of Teaching student at Deakin University and today I'm going to be showing you a text for teaching Aboriginal perspectives in the science classroom. Including Aboriginal perspectives in the curriculum is a first step to promote reconciliation with Indigenous communities and a necessary effort to reduce the gap between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal students in this country. Not only does teaching indigenous perspectives help our Aboriginal youth have better school retention and outcomes, but it also shows other Australians the wealth of, of Aboriginal knowledge that relates to our country. Aboriginal understandings of the land may help us come up with creative solutions to modern problems, including the areas of sustainability and astronomy. Why not learn about all of the seven seasons in Melbourne? That's right, while the European calendar divides the year in four seasons, the cooling people were able to identify all their three other phases of the year, all with their unique characteristics and timing. What I'm showing you today is a calendar put together by Greenaway Architects when explaining their work at RMIT University. Even though the landscape designer and decal artists were both Aboriginal in this project, we don't know for sure who designed the beautiful calendar with the seven seasons of the cooling nation. What we do know, however, is that the narrative in the calendar was developed by Melbourne Museum in collaboration with Aboriginal communities and consultation of Kulin elders. In their website, Melbourne Museum presents the description of each of the seasons, including anecdotes from Aboriginal people. They use Aboriginal language in their description and include characteristics that we wouldn't always associate with the seasons, such as which studs can be seen in the sky and which plants are flowering. By showing what the cooling people cared about and paid attention to, the calendar teaches us about their perspectives and culture, making it an awesome celebration of Aboriginal knowledge. By placing value to Indigenous identities and historical knowledge, we connect to our Aboriginal students and encourage them to be proud of their heritage. But the calendar also offers other students a great opportunity to evaluate their own concept of seasons. Is this a fixed concept that can be equally applied all over the world? Or could it be that different parts of the globe experience different seasons? Sometimes more, sometimes less than four. Critically thinking about these fundamental questions brings us to our science question. What causes seasons? Why, why can't we use the European calendar to accurately predict differences in the whole world? And what else is involved in determining which season we are in besides the weather. The seven seasons of the cooling people can thus be used to engage students in this interesting topic in earth and space sciences. And it can also stimulate critical thinking by defying everything we know about the different seasons. That was it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attention. And I hope you will be inspired to learn more about the original communities and culture after this video. Ciao.